So hi everyone, um, I'm Jean and today I'm very happy to share with you on a topic which is to create your toolbox for career development. So to share some of my experience through HET ESA or from this team until where I am today or what I'm doing right now in Switzerland. <laughs> so one of the questions that we always get in interview or in our first year of university or even for a PG student, uh, we are always being asked, how do you see yourself in five years? So where do you want to go and what do you want to be in, uh, in five years? I was appointed as an ESA back then in uh, 2011. I would just want to show to you, all of you, what I have been doing since I joined uh, UST. So uh, I joined UST in 2010 and then afterwards uh, during my bachelor's study, I was taking part in the ESA and then later on being in a head ESA in the team. Throughout my bachelor's study, I was joining different things like Europe projects, internship, uh, trying to do different things within the university life. And afterwards, I moved to Switzerland for my master and also for my PhD degree. And I still recall that at the beginning of my bachelor's study, I was telling everyone that for sure I am not doing a PhD because research is too far away from real application and industry. So that was something I had in mind back then. And then um, when I was in my master's degree, I was thinking, oh, maybe I think I could enter the industry, but still academic is not my thing. So I still had this in mind and thinking uh, maybe research is only for basic science and research is really like just fundamentals. Uh, no, no offense to any PG because later on I studied PhD and um, I moved to Zurich and in my PhD, what I was doing is really on a research which is based on industrial application. And there, what I see at the end is, hey, well done. I made a good decision back then, even though when I was a bachelor student, I was not even thinking of doing a PhD. And what made this all changes uh, throughout this whole 10 years or 11 years since I joined UST until now, um, and I want to share some of my thoughts and uh, how I bridge all of the things or the learnings so far. So I think being in the ESA and head ESA is one of the um, huge help for me since that time until what I'm doing right now in my, uh, or what I was doing as a PhD or even after as a postdoctor. And Later on in, in May, I will be starting as a particle design engineer in Roche. And there are a lot of common things which I see right now from my experience as a PhD, as a postdoc. And also uh, when I was looking for jobs, when I'm developing my career. And these are a lot of things which has been already shared by other head ESA or ESA before in terms of event management, in terms of uh, attention to detail or things that they are doing, sharing and also being a global citizen. And these are things which are very re relevant. And for PG student, and this is also very important for you, because I think uh, during my PhD study, I was not only a PhD student, I was not only a PG student. Well, I spent most of the time in my group because we have a group of 30 to 40 people. I was an event organizer, organizing conferences, no matter it's international conferences or local conferences. Uh, I was also invited to be the last minute presenter, which you never know what happens or what lives bring you. And a lot of times we are de designing the media and PowerPoint, uh, which is very likely the case, uh, how we are interacting today through Zoom or through uh, internet media. And I think this is things which are connecting back to where we started or where, how I started as an ESA and had ESA back then. So ESA as a whole, how I see it is a community to grow and learn together. So the picture above is at 2011, where I started to join the ESA program. And that was the first picture that we did. And then the picture at the bottom is I think it was two years back. And this community is not a community which ends when you graduate from the university. It's actually a community which continue, um, which continues even after you graduate. And I think this is one of the key points because this community, community is where you grow even after you graduate and you learn from each other even you graduate. And this grow and learn together, um, I would summarize them into three parts. One part is 
to learn and grow together as an explorer, to be a collector, so that you know what are in your toolbox, and also to be an experimentalist. So you try and do different things um, within this community. And, and I think a lot of emphasis which has been shared so far is this is a platform where you are given with freedom in order to um, understand and being in a team to try new things, to talk with new people and also to being the representation of the university. And this, this, is, a, this is a representation which not only comes to you when you are at UST and actually goes, to, goes together with you for your whole life and, and you are the one who is making the impact uh, not only on yourself, but also on people who are around you and future engineers and also uh, people or colleagues which you are working in, working with. A few points which I really want to share with you when I'm in my career development and what I learned the most or what are the values that are still uh, very valid today for me in my career development. And one thing is already has been uh, introduced by everyone is on stepping out of our comfort zone and what I see here is stepping out of our comfort zone is not only meaning to try out new things but it's also meaning that you seize opportunities so there are opportunities out there for example being participating and volunteering in the ESA program is one of it and through through stepping out your of your comfort zone, then you widen your horizon. And that was what I was not able to see when I was a bachelor student. I didn't see the horizon of what a PhD can do. And this is one of the, just one of the example. And the other thing is really to do try and error. This is a platform where they allow you to have, to test your boundary and to know your boundary so that you know what you are good at and you know uh, what are your fears, what can you do. Um, and at the same time, I think a lot of communication which is um, available within the community. Therefore, you learn also from your colleagues what are the key of the other engineering department. So in this way, after you graduate or during the, your whole bachelor study or even in your PG study, you know a lot better what other engineers are doing. And because of that, it helps a lot after you graduate when you're working with um, maybe your colleagues from other engineering background, maybe colleagues which are only in marketing, but because of the communication um, that you have made already throughout this program, you can actively talk with different stakeholders. And this is one thing which, because you know, throughout this program, you have done this and you know that now it's not a, another, it's not a problem for you anymore. So another thing which I, I would summarize is always to be ready and always willing to serve. Um, this is not for the benefits for others where when you're volunteering, you are helping others, but it's actually also coming back to yourself because uh, it helps you to extend your toolbox. So what are your resources? What are actually inside you which it can be soft skills, it can be hard skills, it can be like uh, what you learn from from your engineering school and your engineering background. But by always being ready and always willing to serve, then you, are, you have the opportunity to sharpen your tools and making sure that you are always at the top of what you, are, what you can do. And at the same time, ready to learn from the team. So everyone has their specialty. They are good at different things and from there, Try to learn from the experts and try to learn from each other to see, hey, I can also try this new method and I can also try um, try another way to approach the same problem solving. And I have a very short story is uh, when I started as a PhD student, I still remember the first month of my PhD life, my professor was asking me for a meeting on a on late Friday night and then he was asking me, hey Jean, um, I couldn't be in at an international conference for Saturday. So I would like you to pack your luggage tonight and then fly tomorrow to England and then to present for me. So at that time I have no excuse to say no because he is my boss. But at the same time, I was not afraid because I knew that in the past, I already had op opportunity to speak in front of many people uh, when I was doing MCing in my, in, as a head ESA or as a 
ESA, and I know how to speak in front of an audience of 3,000 people or 300 people. And whether whether or not this information is something that I'm very technically really involved, but I'm still able to transfer the information to um, to the audience. And this is something I learned throughout the program. And by doing a lot of emceeing and also talking with um, others, I know, okay, even if you ask me to to fly to another city and to speak as the keynote speaker, even as a first year PhD student, I can do this because I had experience in the experience in the past and it helps me to be ready at the point where it's necessary. And therefore, um, one thing I would advise everyone is never let the excuse be be there for you when you when the opportunity is actually already here. Make sure you take the opportunity and always be be ready to serve this community because at the end of the day, you never know uh, what comes next in your life. And a lot of times, because you you have been involved in this. Um, training and also all this experience it helps you a lot to build up who you are uh, later on and also when you have to present yourself so the last point which I want to share is to practice gratitude uh, I think throughout the whole throughout the whole ESA program I see it a lot of times where we are working as a team and we have feedback and also reflection helping each other to grow and I think one thing I'm very thankful is to have this platform and the opportunities that ESA has given to us. Uh, as a student, we have this platform to meet a lot of people, which uh, maybe we have never a chance to meet, like Jack Ma. And then also we have a lot of chance to excellence in our own skills or learning new, new skills uh, through the training program. And being thankful of what opportunities has and being thankful for all the people who are around you, like the ESA team or staff who are helping us through this program uh, to give us this freedom to learn. And because of that, you will slowly find out that actually you are more able to be sympathetic and understanding the needs of other stakeholders which are working with you. And when you're working on new projects or when you're working on a uh, new area, then you you will understand that this is actually the key point where I can be thankful for all the success where we are built as a team and also thankful for all the failure that we have done because then it bring, up, bring us to what we are today. And I think this is a place or ESA as a community is a place where you can learn and grow to see your own change and also to see what you can overcome uh, in the team. And and by the way, um, I I'm, was surfing with my boyfriend at that time. Uh, so on the left hand side, that was uh, Harris. We were work, uh, we were surfing in ESA together. And uh, last year we got married. So you might also find your loved ones here in your in the ESA program. You never know. <laughs> so at the end of the day, um, what I want to share is. It's actually not the question of what you want to be, what you see yourself in five years, but actually is to reflect on what engineering brings you and what your UST life brings you. And I hope that um, by thinking of what you want to achieve during your uh, HKUST life, you can successfully become an explorer, collector, experimentalist to collect all of this experience together as a team, as a community. And I hope that later on in your life, we can also hear from you on your sharing uh, as an ESA or as a head ESA. And uh, thank you for thank you for being with us. And if you want to get in touch, you can uh, add me in different area. So that's uh, pretty much from my side. Anna.